He comes from a land down under, where the sauropod skulls are shockingly well preserved. Welcome back to 30 Days of Dino November, where we're discussing 30 little known dinosaurs with big stories. Today, we're taking a look at Diamantinosaurus, a sauropod dinosaur from the late Cretaceous of Australia. It was found in the Winton Formation of Queensland, which has also produced the perhaps more famous Australopinator, and was named for the nearby Diamantino River. Now, like many dinosaurs from Australia, Diamantinosaurus isn't known from a complete specimen, but we do have a lot of the animal. We have much of the forelimb and the hindlimb, as well as the pelvis and the shoulder, and some vertebrae. I'll talk a little bit more in a bit about the hand, and then there's also something quite special. All of these elements tell us that Diamantinosaurus was a titanosaur, and that it was decently closely related to some of the most famous giant dinosaurs of all time, including things like Argentinosaurus, Pitagotitan, Dreadnoughtus, and Alamosaurus. Now, unlike some later titanosaurs that have entirely lost their fingers and walk only on the metacarpals, aka the bones of the palm, Diamantinosaurus still has its phalanges, and it still has the characteristic thumb claw that is ancestral to sauropods. Now what's really special about our Aussie friend here is that we have most of its skull. Now, this is uncommon enough already for sauropods, and even more so for titanosaurs. Only four other titanosaurs are known that have decently complete skull material, and that makes Diamantinosaurus very important for understanding titanosaur anatomy and evolution. Its skull is very similar to another early branching titanosaur from Argentina called Sarmientosaurus. And now together they both show early titanosaur conditions like having kind of this depressed elongate snout, but also still having teeth that occupy most of the muzzle. And as you can see in the Megdosaurus on the right here, that snout gets a little bit elaborated in later titanosaurs, and importantly, Later titanosaurs also concentrate their teeth at the tip of their snout, kind of like diplodocids did, but convergently. And so Diamantinosaurus is offering us important glimpses at kind of early titanosaur anatomy that is then modified in later forms like Nemectosaurus here. So the next time you feel like waltzing Matilda, remember, you might just see a pretty important dinosaur camped out by the billabong. <laughs>